So let's talk about navigation menus. So I've avoided the topic up to now because it's a little bit complicated when you want to use Bootstrap instead of the normal um, the normal styling. So in our case, we have Bootstrap and we want to use that for our navigation because we already have this. And so that's where things get complicated. But without that, uh, things are pretty straightforward. So in order to create a navigation menu, you have to register some menus. So let me explain what's going on here. So if we come back to appearance and we go to menus, we already did add theme support for menus. So make sure this is there. Otherwise, you won't see that menus menu. So the same with widgets and menus here. So let's come back here and see what we have. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, um, you can create as many menus as you want. So these menus here, what they mean is just it's a collection of um, it's where you collect links together to name them into a particular menu. So like here, let me say uh, this is the main menu. I'm just going to call it main menu for lack of a better word. Uh, maybe I'll call it main nav menu. Now, this doesn't really matter what you call it here. This is for the user, the one that is using the your theme. So what you're going to do as a theme creator is you're going to name the places where you want menus to appear. So for example, this is the main menu here. You can add a menu section here and call it something. Maybe you call it the primary menu. And then you may have a menu here and call it the secondary menu. And you may have some menus in your footer and call those the footer menu. So those will be locations where a menu can be added. So those are just places where you are allowing the user to be able to add a menu. So it's just like adding a hook of some kind, just like we talked about hooks. So you can add a menu hook somewhere where somebody can add a menu. Now, for them, they can create 10 or 20 menus here. So keep in mind that you have three locations. Maybe this place you have a menu hook or menu location there and there. So you practically have three places to add menus. But the user here, the user of the uh, your theme can create even 10 to 20 menus. Now those menus are just groups of links that they put together and give them different names depending on what they want to do. And then they get to choose among the three locations that you provide. Once you provide those locations, there'll be a second bar here that will show those locations. And then the user will get to choose among the menus that they've created, which menu will show on which location. So hopefully that is making some sense. So if I create a main nav menu, I'll say create menu here. I'll click that. And so some things are now active. Okay, edit your menu below. Don't forget to save the changes. So all I need to do here is tell it what pages I want to see on this. So here I have a list of pages. I can even put actual posts here onto the menu. It doesn't really matter. I can put my own links where I uh, I name the link, maybe homepage or something, and then create a very custom created link URL here and add it to that menu. Or I can select an actual category and add it there. So we have this uncategorized category. Let's try and add this to our menu here. So this goes to here. And then I can go to pages. Let me see what pages I have. Meanwhile, you can click. This one just shows you the most recent, but you can click view all to see all. So there's a sample page and this home page. I want to add all of them to my menu. Now, I don't have much more, but I can add, I can create a second menu where I put all my posts if I want, for example. So once I'm done with this, I can rearrange these as I wish. Just drag and drop uh, what you need. Drag and drop like this to rearrange what comes first and what comes second, like this. And then not only that, you can make this one a child of this one by dragging to the right. And this one becomes a sub item of this one. So this is the place where a drop down like this will come into effect. Okay, 
So let's leave the home and sample page and uncategorized just like this for demonstration purposes. And let's save this menu. So save menu. Mm -hmm. So that menu is saved. Now we can create a new menu if we want. So let's say I create, create new menu. This one I will call it um, my footer links like this and create because these are just links. So on the footer, maybe I want a home page as well. And I also want um, maybe some posts here. Let me just add all posts, add to the list. Okay. It's adding. There we go. And let's save that menu. Okay. So what I'm really doing here is just creating a collection of links that I like and putting them in groups so that they can appear together when I want them to. So this has nothing to do with what's going on here. Here I need to register some locations where menus can be added. Now in order to do that, if we go to the handbook and look at um, theme functionality and click here and go to navigation menus you can get all the information you need here so this is how you register a menu now if you look at this function uh, register menus this is a function that is running from the add action so add action here and then on the init it's running the register my menus function which is this one so since we already have the action of init, we just need what is inside here. We don't need all this out here, but you can copy all of this if you want and paste it on a blank space here. But it's only because I already have the init here, so I don't need all that. I can just tell it to run after here and just say uh, register menus like so and paste that. So this is the function, register menus, and then it takes in a, an array which has the menu names or the IDs and then the menu text. Now, you may be wondering what this is. This is a double uh, underscore here and then some brackets like this. What this does, this is a translator. So don't mind this. Whenever you see this, just know that this is a function that translates data. So normally what would happen is you have a comma and then you put your theme name here in uh, like this theme name as the handle whatever the the theme name is named in our case it's razor sharp so razor sharp something like this and what this does is it's going to enable translation if you want to localize your script but we're not doing that in here so we don't need any of this at all so in fact, we don't even need this function at all. So we can just remove this into the open like this. Okay, we can put a comma since PHP now allows an extra comma down here so that it's easy to duplicate and not forget the comma. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating menu locations. Now this is different. This naming is different from the menus that I named here. These are just groups of links, but these names are locations on the theme where I want to put my menus. So this one I can say header menu, it's okay, that's fine. And then I can put one called footer menu. And also I can put a third one called uh, sidebar maybe. I can just say sidebar menu, even though we don't have one like that. Uh -huh. Now I can put as many as I want, 10, 20, it doesn't really matter. These are just menu locations. And then here you have the text. Now this text is what the user will see when they're trying to assign the, their collection, the collection they made when they're trying to tell the theme to show in a particular place. This is the text they'll see, header, menu, and then, so make it meaningful here, footer menu or more descriptive. And then this one, I'll call it sidebar menu like that, because this is a text they'll see. This they'll never see, because this is just a handle we will be using in our code to 
put that location so the moment i do this you will notice a new tab here once i refresh the page so let me save the menu hopefully i have saved it already and as soon as i do that because the page has refreshed now you can see uh, the manage locations so back here this is the new tab that was created because of these three things we added and you can see them right here header menu footer menu side menu now i get to choose which menu appears on the sidebar but since i don't have one that corresponds to that i just want my footer links to appear on the footer menu and the main nav bar to appear here and i'll save changes but once i do this you will see nothing here still that's because i haven't told the theme which location exactly is the header menu so let's see what um this thing says so it says uh, to display a menu we just do wordpress nav menu and then we tell it where to display that using theme location in the array now the array can give the reason it's an array you can put more um, parameters here which we will see a bit later but for now let me copy this version because it's easy to duplicate more items here so i'll copy this one uh -huh. so yeah this one will not actually be useful to us defining a callback so no we end there here so what we need now is to go to our index page since this is where we want to display our content uh actually let's go in the header because that's where our header is which is inside header.php actually what i need is the nav bar so nav.php so in here is where I want the navigation to appear. But for now, I just want it to show right after the nav here. So I'm going to put my PHP tags and tell it this is the location for my navigation. So paste like this and move that inward. Okay, so now I'm saying theme location which is the location. So I go back here and tell it this one is the header location. So that's the ID. So I come back here and say, this one is, this place right here is the header menu. We don't really need a container class, but I'll allow it for now. It doesn't really matter. And then I'll copy this again. And I want to create another location in the footer. So I'll go to the footer. So footer.php. Right about, um, hmm. Let me create something here. I'll create a footer container and then put that there okay like this and then i'll call this one the footer menu because that's the id i gave it here which is this one yeah okay cool so if i now come back to my blog and i try to refresh you shall see a menu here in the header and you should see a footer menu as well which is different from that one. So in this way, the user can choose what menu appears here. So for example, if I'm the user and I think, okay, I don't like the links that are here, right? All I have to do is go to menu locations here and then give the header menu something else. I say my footer links, save changes. So now instead of showing this, it will show a different list of items. Now, in case I don't like that list either, I can always create a new one. So here I'll just say uh, create new menu. And this one I'll call it uh, just say another menu or favorites maybe. I'll just call favorites like this and uh, save. So from this favorites I can choose whatever things I want to add here. Maybe I want to add the sample page again. Maybe I want to create a custom link. Maybe I want to add a category there's only one category yeah maybe sample page is all I want I'll save like this and then now I have to go to manage locations and tell it on the header I want you to just show my favorite links like this and then now if I refresh that's the link you see so in this way this is how the user can control what menus get to be shown where all right now the problem only comes in uh, because now the thing is once you reach this point all you have to do is tile these guys 
now you can style these guys in several ways so which we will see in the next video let me just put that menu bar back there so that we have something substantial here now you can use common CSS all you have to do is right click inspect the element just to see what classes are involved so once you find the classes that are involved all you have to go do is go to your style.css and uh, customize them and they will appear as you wish but we're using bootstrap so it's a little bit complicated than that than just styling so let's see how we can get around that in the next video